Hi, my name is Karen Wilson and I'm a life coach. And I'm Barry Wilson and I'm a systems ecologist. We're coming to you live from uh, Venice Beach, actually. Uh, we, we stayed behind in LA. We're actually from Canada and we just did a bucket list run on Venice Beach. So that's like awesome. So uh, one word to describe what Smart Success Live was like, I, I think to sum it up, the best word is like uh, kapow. Pow, pow. <laughs> That's repetition. It is. Same word, but three times. <laughs> okay, I'm actually reading the notes off my phone so I don't forget uh, everything you've asked for. Uh, the part that I found most valuable was actually uh, the self-confidence that I had going into into smart success and um, what what I didn't expect to feel so this is kind of two questions at once is I I went in there thinking that wow I'm gonna meet all of these successful people and I'm gonna be all in the room with all of these wonderful inspiring successful people that have inspired me all my life and then I realized that I'm one of them and uh, that was pretty surreal for me and 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 an aha moment what about you honey well the thing I think that was most valuable for me was that uh, and I think for us both together this is one that we share is that we're coming together um, we were sort of two businesses parallel mm -hmm. and now we're converging together and we're, we, we have a real positive outlook on how we can support each other as we both work towards our common dream. And I think, I think we feel really united now. Yeah, that was, that was pretty, that was pretty awesome. Uh, I, you know, it's hard, it's hard to sum it up in words. I, I won't, I won't deny it there. I try to find too many words. <laughs> so, uh, the event was different than any other seminar I've been to because I haven't been to any. <laughs> <laughs> so this was uh, my first experience but to be honest I, I wouldn't want it any other way um, so back to my light bulb moment uh, light bulb moment again was it was just realizing that um, I I am enough and I have a gift and and it's more than just what I think it is and uh, I don't need anything else except for take that recipe and make it right <laughs> and not leave out the ingredients um, that you've taught me. I think for me too, one of the things that was a big aha moment this weekend was that it, there was some validation of things that we've been doing and trying to share the positive energy of health and wellness with others uh, and what we learned from Brett and Shaleen was uh, a recipe of being able to share that to utilize technology like the internet um, and just our own personalities effectively to share that message and take that to other people because when we do that uh, we feel pretty confident that our dream is going to come true. Absolutely. Uh, I wasn't expecting though to to feel so connected um, with my husband like we we have always been quite connected we've We've always strived to have really great communication, but it's like that, it's almost like going to the live event was just like taking something that was already great and adding hot sauce. Yeah, like, that's right. It was just, it's, that's the only way I can really describe it because we're so charged now. And we're on fire. We're on fire. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so that's, that's actually what, that was unexpected. Uh, we we actually felt awesome at the last day of the event. It was it was very very unexpected. But the biggest desire that I had to do was just I, I was crying, and because it's so emotional. And what I realized is that I had reached a milestone, and there was no one that I wanted to celebrate that with more than my husband. So we dashed out of there. And we didn't check our phones, we didn't do anything, we left everything behind, and we went and we celebrated. And yeah. that was, I didn't expect to do that either. No. I expected to like stick around and do some more networking, but there was no one that I wanted to be with more than my husband. So thank you for that. Yes. Uh, 
that was awesome. Um, I feel like it was a worthy investment of time and money. Yeah, just, I was just I, for that. Right. <laughs> I was definitely hesitant at the beginning when Karen uh, suggested that you know we go. Um, and my hesitation was not around whether thinking it, you know, would be fun and probably very worthwhile, but I just didn't know if we could stretch enough with our finances. We we're both starting new businesses. Uh, we've already put out a lot of uh, risk capital out there, and and I was just I was nervous. I was a little scared that uh, we couldn't afford it, or it might not be the right time. But <clears throat> I trusted Karen's judgment. Because he's and, my biggest cheerleader. And I got on board and, and I committed to her that yes, we are going to go and I am going to give it everything that I have. And once I made that transition, you know, I worked hard uh, at trying to help us be here and uh, it definitely has paid the dividends for sure. You know when I really saw that, honey, is that we have this app and we were collecting air, air plan miles whatever so there's this app on the iPad and it, it was showing this percentage of how far we were to get to we were actually planning a trip to our goal to Costa Rica and that was gonna be like in a few years and what because <laughs> it would take a long time and what he did is he changed it and one day he flipped the iPad around to show me and I knew he was on board when it said 78% to Shaleen and I just that was like it was it was a moment right there and we made it we made it a hundred percent to yep. you and uh, so that was I was awesome um, definitely worth all the extra investment though like because we did invest more of course and it's been worth every cent in every penny I, I don't think you can put value on connectivity and life and bringing us together in line to do things that we're good at to help each other with what we're doing together. I yeah. mean, it, you, it, you just can't put a it. price tag on that. <laughs> For sure. Um, so I think everybody needs to come to Smart Success, in For my sure. opinion, <laughs> but they have to be ready um, to, to have an open mind. Um, there's things that I've been half open to that after attending the live event, I'm like, okay, I get it. I get it. And he's my biggest accountability partner. He's already keeping me in line because we're kind of away right now. Right. Yeah. So. Well, and we can see, I think we've already talked about this, is that, uh, you know, as soon as we can do it, uh, our lifers that are with us on our journey and, and our path, we want to bring them here because, yeah. you know, we were given this gift uh, by Shalene and Brett and we really want to share it and if we yes. share that with our lifers uh, that's going to be true value for them and for us i just want to give so much more and it validates that feeling of, of, of giving because a lot of times i've um i've been distracted by what happens like uh, outsiders will say well you just give too much you'll never make it in business if you just keep keep giving away things for free but you know they're right. It's true. <laughs> it's you gotta true. find the profit. Yeah. But I have to, and so you have now to be able I know. To keep doing it. Exactly. And yeah. Um, yeah, so I get it. I get it. That's the thing. And, the, and Karen is a very, very giving person. Uh, but it really, you know, that business component um, that was brought to the meeting in several different ways, you know, th through Brett, through Aaron, and through Shaleen, just around. You know, it's great to be wanting to do the right thing and to be helping others, but it, you also have to be able to earn a living at it because if you can't, then you're gonna you're not gonna be able to pursue that. You're gonna have to go get a job and do something else. So uh, that's a critical piece. You gotta have it. It's part of part of the journey. Definitely. And uh, the the bonus question: feeling insecure about going. I I I didn't have any insecurities about going, and I I I just wanted to throw my little help out there for for those that might is that you know I know that there's a certain fashion and trends and stuff to keep up with but that never that never even crossed my mind um, because maybe it's perspective if my personal perspective might help others out there when I walk into a room I don't notice 
fashion. I don't notice what you're wearing. I notice body language and that to me tells me if you're genuine and if you're someone I, I want to talk to. You can be dressed to the nines or you can be in your sweats. If you feel confident, it's gonna show. And so just just bring you because you're your best accessory. But I had absolutely no um, no reservations uh, about coming, and I, I I wasn't worried at all. <laughs> but so you might have something. Oh, I just I, maybe to finish off, I I'd, I'd say that you know you're gonna hear from Team Wilson. That's us. Yes. It's it's not Karen's business and Barry's business anymore. We're Team it's, Wilson. Yeah. So uh, that's it's, and it's awesome. uh, thank you, Team Johnson for yes. giving us that. Yes. Thank you very much. And thanks for the opportunity to share our story.